Matthew 9 and 35, and Yahweh Shai went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Barak to Yahweh, Barak to Yahweh Shai, all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, Yahweh being the name of the Father, who people ignorantly call God, Yahweh Shai is his son, who people ignorantly call Jesus. Bahashem Rakakwadash. That's in the name of the Holy Spirit. And that's where we get our revelation, our knowledge, our wisdom, and understanding through these scriptures. Peace and blessings to you, Akim out there that's constantly fighting the good fight of faith, loyal will to the end, and double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. And Lord will this lesson be at a fine to the elect. Going in today on uh there's enough to go around. I believe that's the lesson uh Oh, there's plenty to go around. All right, there's plenty to go around. When I'm saying that, I'm meaning, you know, uh, the, the us pushing out this this truth. Ultimately, you know, it's it's plenty work to be done. You know, maybe that's what I call it. It's plenty work to be done because, you know, uh, I'm gonna bring out the scripture in there that hey, we ain't done yet. You know, we ain't done. We haven't uh, completed the the race. You know, as scriptures say, uh, he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So we got we got more to go, you know, and we got to keep on pushing. We got to keep on enduring. You know, uh, what scripture also say, uh, though it tarry, wait for it. It shall surely come because, you know, in these in these uh, these days, man, we we already and want to be done. You know, we but it's not on. It's not up to us. You know, it's up to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Ultimately, Yahweh, because he's the one, because uh, even Yahweh Shai, which is two different people, two different entities, you know, Yahweh is the Father and Yahweh Shai, that's the Son, they're totally separate. Um, but anyway, so Yahweh, he's the only one that, that, that knows, you know. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that scripture. And that's another way to tell that is two different uh, entities. It's not, they're not the same. All right, this is Matthew 24 and 36. It says, but of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So this is Yahweh Shai speaking. So, you know, that go to show you that it's two different uh, entities, you know, two different uh, people for lack of a better word. So, Again, man, hey, we got to continue to push, man, because we don't know when Yahweh Shah is returning. So the only one that knows is Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. So we got to, you know, continue to grind out, you know, continue to endure, continue to, uh, uh, what say, endure hardship as good soldiers. Because, you know, in our in our mind, man, we already see the end. You know, we see that everything, you know, coming to play. But it's not about, you know, it's the process, man. We got to go through it. And it's, it's, part of the, it's part of the process, you know. He that endured to the end. It's, it's to show our faith, man. So as we continue to hold on and continue to press towards the mark, we just got to continue to do the work, you know. And uh, it's enough to go around. It's enough work to go around. So we just got to keep going. So I'm going to read these few scriptures and Lord will this lesson be at a fine to the elect. We start at Matthew 9 and 20, 35 again. And Yahweh Shai went about all the cities and villages, teaching in the synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. And that's how we see our people, man. We see them all over the place. But, you know, that's why he, he called us into this, you know, to gather, to be, you know, we know that it's the it's, it's not us. We know it's the, the words that we're speaking through the spirit of Yahabah Shemel Shah that's gathering the elect. So he's, he's using us to, we're his mouthpiece, basically. Verse 37, it says, Then saith he unto his disciples, the harvest Truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. And that's what I'm saying. You know, hey, it's it's plenty out there. It's not a, a lack of people. It's not a lack of, you know, it's, it's 
we got to do the work, you know, and you those of you that's out there and you just listening, you only can just listen for so long. We can't scripture say uh, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own self. So we got to we we got to do this work. And part of the work is, you know, pushing out these lessons, going out on the highways and hedges. We can't just be uh be a uh, fans, you know. We can't be on the sideline for forever and ever. We got to get involved. This is a, 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 a action, you know. We're about now. Everybody got their part to play, okay? But you know, it's about getting involved. If you can teach, you know, you got the ability to bring out, you know, whether it's just the basics. That's what I basically do. I just deal with the basics, man. I don't try to get all deep, you know. I just keep it basic. And and if that's that's your ability, whatever your your ability are is, you know, some some brothers got the ability to bring out the history real deep, the you know, into the prophecies. Some brothers bring out uh the, go into the Hebrew, you know, some brothers go into about health or or a mixture of things, you know, on faith, whatever whatever your your uh portion is. So verse 37 says, then said he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. It says, pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that ye will send forth laborers into his harvest. So that's what we pray for. We pray, you know, that Yahweh Shemiah Shah just continue to gather the elect. <clears throat> and with the gathering of the elect, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to uh, send forth laborers because that's what the elect are. The, the, the elect are laborers, you know. Matter of fact, that's probably what I name it. The elect are laborers. So we got to labor to enter into that rest. You know, we got to, we guys got to continue. It's a, it's a laborer's birth, but it's a labor of love. You know, we don't do this grudgingly. <clears throat> I'm going to get this next one. I'm going to close it on this. It's Matthew 22. And starting at verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. That's what we do when we go out in the highways and edges. We bid, you know. We, we you know, it's like uh, when we out there on the on a on the streets. It's uh, that's like that's the altar. You know, we're not hiding in no buildings. We out here. We out there on the streets. Verse ten it says, "So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together." At all as many as, and, and you could read up above. I just wanted to get straight to the point, you know, about the, this is about a wedding and all that, but just getting to the point. Verse 10, it says, so those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And that's how we are when we throw out the net, the net when we fishing, you know, sometimes we'll bring in, you know, good fish. And then some is bad. You know, you got crabs, lobster, all that is out there in the ocean. But then you, amongst that, you got that good, the good fish that we could eat. And using that as an analogy for those that, you know, come into this truth. <clears throat> What's that uh, scripture? Uh, basically, I'm paraphrasing it like man planted, but the most high, he bring it to increase. You know, so it just we just do our part. Go out fish, you know. It's up to Yahabash Miao Shad to bring in, bring it in. But you know, the closer and closer we get, hey, we're gonna have those that's gonna come in on the last hour. Verse 11, it says, and when the king it reminds me of uh when Yahweh Shah, when he was when they was out there fishing the disciples and they wasn't catching nothing, and then he told them, Hey, throw it over here. You know, he they threw it over and they had an abundance where they could barely, you know, they couldn't even pull it in. They had to, I believe it, if I remember correctly, they had to basically go go to the land they had to you know uh take the boat to the land and be able to pull it in because they had so much and the closer and closer we get man we know that this this truth is you know uh it's getting tighter and tighter the, the net so you know we're gonna it's gonna bring in you know the uh, apostles and elders they say hey, the elect the seal so you got brothers basically that's out there that you just constantly listening listening to this truth but hey that's all you doing, you know, and you got to we have to continue to do more, you know, uh, uh, what scripture say, uh, seek him 10 times more. 
you know, we're getting closer to this end, man. Hey, we should be uh, constantly in this. So it says, uh, verse, verse 10, it says, So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how camest thou in, in hither not having wedding, having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. You know, we come into this and don't have the, the, the right doctrine, the right understanding of the scriptures. You know, we know that the MOTB what it is. The scriptures speak about us all uh, speaking the same thing. You know, it's no division among us. We all speaking the same thing and not just being parrots. We speaking the th same thing because we had the understanding of it through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shah. We understand that the mark of the beast is that just that, man. Revelation 13 and 16 is clear. You know, we understand that there's a, a separation between Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. We know this. Through, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's clear. So it's not going to be no division. It's not going to be where, you know, you're going to come in, in here and, and not be on the same accord. Coming in, into the wedding without a without your garment on. We we come in fully, you know, we ready. We, you know, we, we come in, in, our, in our best. It says, and he said unto him, friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, bind him hand and foot, and take him away and cast him into outer darkness. There should be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And ultimately, you know, that's going to be the missiles coming on two-thirds of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans who are not coming up under this, you know? You're not, you're not trying to be uh, sheltered from the, the destruction that's coming. And, you know, as scriptures speak about, you know, uh, judgment must begin in the house of Israel where it's going to start, you know, right in-house. Those that you know, are claiming that they know the gospel of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh but you know you breaking down the, you you bringing it out the way that you want to. You're not taking on the gospel whole and completely. It's all, man. You we we gotta take it all in. It's not part of the truth. Verse fourteen it says, "For many are called, but few are chosen." And we understand that, man. That's why we are of the hopeful elect. Because we know we've been called because we in this. We doing the work, you know. But it's yet to know if we chosen. But we we'll know, I mean, those of us that endure to the end. And Lord will, we do. So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Dama honest to your apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there fighting this good fight of faith. Lord will to the end. Till next time, Lord will. Shalom.